Today on the newscast, Palestinian riots rock Jerusalem. Plus, Vladimir Putin meets with as tensions between dance next. Hey folks, Eric Stackelbeck here. Welcome. I'm in Israel right now as the people, it is a celebration for the people. This time of year, you'll see porches and decks throughout the great tabernacles as Israel and the Bring the high holiday started with week and now on Sunday and I believe the following month it's a festive time of riots in the eastern half of Jerusalem area are all Israel's interim prime met with his security to discuss the in violence and unrest over the past years, rioting not only a call here in the newscast, Judea and Samaria. That's what Israel past few days just to get you two Israeli soldiers and one killed in Jerusalem one killed in Samaria in the northern half of a Palestinian terror group we've had rioting in neighboring Luan, Sheikh Jarrah Tour that entire area. If you know, again, it's the eastern half. Majority Palestinian. The also Molotov. And again, an Israeli soldier with unrest number one in Jerusalem. This festive Sukkot season. Of Joseph's tomb, where Paul is buried there, and Jews from time to time go by under escort from the Israel defense. Practically every time the tomb has been vandalized many, many times. And Nablus is really a scene. Where Palestinian Islamic Jews, so the Israel the anti-terror operations number one, number two, just the occasion of the Jewish terrorists to stir things up, but third, the constant drumbeat of incitement. All of these three factors. Precarious Jerusalem as the high hollows. Now tomorrow, Lapid met with the security cabinet today. Israel is vowing a response to the rioting and on Lapid met with the security tomorrow, a Friday, October 14th. But that is the day of Friday for Palestinian Muslims, and in some, they are already calling for. I've seen this many times over the past several years. People spill out of Friday prayers in Jerusalem, and things spiral downward 
from except the right and that's what it all on this folks a very precarious situation right now pray for the to do so in the Bible pray for those Jews so often have been targeted by power one thing issue Mahmoud Abbas the president was in Kazakhstan today, and on the side, I met with a boss during this meeting, railed against the United States, no surprise there, and he wants Russia for years, really. Putin has been very friendly for Russia to take a more Once a two that very he was a very welcoming folks that the timing is no he reported just this week Russia and is for those Russian strikes against those ballistic missile and drone. Russia responded and criticized. We've seen over the over airstrikes against Iran in Syria, over the Golan Heights, over over the Palestinian issue. The list officials have continued. Meanwhile, and not anger Russia, and the main. Freedom of movement in Syria. Israel wants to be able to and Hezbollah in Syria of thousands of Russian soldiers. Russia entered Syria in a very delicate situation. Running lane and the ground being lane for eventually in the book of Ezekiel chapters 38 and 39 I believe a day a federation of nations doesn't get very far they meet in the God of Israel the God of Abraham to the world in a way he has know when, but the Bible is pretty the Russia relationship to continue Yair Lapid again we'll see what happens November 1st Minister or does Benjamin Netanyahu become Prime Minister Netanyahu and Putin enjoyed a very warm relationship and Bibi visited Russia we shall There's no doubt but these God is in control the newscast until tomorrow hey everyone thanks for checking Any more Hit the like for new